Hi guys, it's Luton here and uh, continuing on with my formatting file sharing uh, videos I've been doing this week. Now we're going to be looking at the Game Capture HD, the Elgato Game Capture HD. And uh, with this program it's another way of recording from your uh, PS3 or Xbox and um, apparently according to the level you can actually use it to record from PCs as well because it has the uh, HDMI connection so you can actually record from PCs if they have an HDMI connection which is you know pretty useful. Um, so basically in their own software here you have a couple of other options options. Now, uh, when we're looking at file sizes and quality yet again, now the benefit of this program is that it has down the bottom here, you can see you've got ProRes, iMovie and the HDPVR, that's where, you know, I've told it to store footage. Now, what I was looking at here was the file sizes and the quality. Now, before we do, you know, looking at this, uh, the quality from each export was pretty much the same. So across all the exports, the same quality. It's literally just a case of what do you want it to be? Do you want it to take less time or do you want the file size to be smaller now then to begin with the raw export if you just click this button here it will do a raw export this video file here is 10 minutes I just did 10 minutes um, of pretty good quality um, where's the quality it's uh, if we go to capture here and you click that little thing you can go quality now I've got it on 720 and I've got it about it's 13.5 megabytes per second and that's the same as I would have on my HD PVR okay so it's the same quality as the HD PVR so a raw export of 10 minutes, that's going to come in at, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. oh, it's up here, 1.3 gig. Now that 1.3 gig is a raw export, that's H.264 format. So I just literally click that and it goes through to that. The time it took to do that, about 15, 20 seconds. It was really fast, just goes straight out there. Now, if I click ProRes, okay, that's going to put that file into the same folder, but it will make it a Apple ProRes 422 format, which is ready for final cut immediately. And that file size comes in at 5.59 gig. The time it took to export is seven minutes, okay? So it took seven minutes. The file is 10 minutes. So it's taken less time than the actual file to convert, transcode, and export that over here, all right? So that's actually not bad, but it just means the file size is quite large. Um, six, you, you basically, let's... 5.5 gig for 10 minutes so if you think okay if you had an hour's footage you're probably going to be looking at you know a 30 gig file 35 and you may remember from my other video that when I transcoded and exported from ITV to the format that we could use in Final Cut again it was about a 37 gig file so it's comparable to that so it's a large large file huge file in fact and again seven minutes for export on that so for example if you click ProRes on an hours video you're probably gonna be looking at a good 45 minutes probably for that to transcode and export okay now the other method we're going to go back to the Amosoft total media converter way all right so what I did with that was I used my raw video that I exported and remember that went through almost straight away um, even if you had an hours footage I, I wouldn't expect it to take more than like five minutes to export with that that sort of uh, that version there uh, I'll just click on the Amosoft all right, so now you can see in here, I've got that same raw file, all right? That's the 1.3 gig file, and we've got our final cut here. And we go to options, and you can see that as usual, we've got the 29.9 uh, whatever FPS, and I've put it on the sort of medium high quality there, the high quality. That's bringing us in that file. So remember, the raw file was 1.3 gig. The export is going to be 1.4, 1.5 gig. So you compare that to the 5.5 and you can see that it's a fifth of the size, all right? It's a fifth of the size. So you're basically looking at one and a half gig, uh, yeah, one and a half gig per 10 minutes, all right? So you can imagine if you had an hour's file again, so you're probably going to be looking at around, I don't know, whatever it's going to be, uh, that's, I don't know, eight, nine gigs, something like that. So it's it's a pretty good for like a long, long, long export. And again, the only thing is though, with the Amosoft conversion, right, it's going to take double the file size. It took 20 minutes to export and convert that, all right? So the two things that we have basically are, if you wanted to just upload straight to YouTube, all right, and the good thing about the game capture is that you can actually do a live com over it. So if you do a live com video and you export straight away, you're gonna have a, full, a small file size that you can upload straight to YouTube and it will export very, very fast. And now that you have the ability to actually live com in this software, which I'll show later on, that is a very, very, very good thing, all right? But if you wanted to do montaging and so on and so on, I would actually advise, I think the best thing to do is because of the file size, and file size is a, a frustrating thing, uh, dealing with large file sizes all the time, what I would do is export it raw, and then I would transcode it. And yeah, okay, it's going to take a little bit of time, but I think that's time well spent to 
you know, reduce your file sizes. But on the other hand, if you're not fussed so much about file sizes and you just want to get things ready quickly, or, you know, if you wanted to just do it quickly and you knew you were going to delete that footage straight away, you could click ProRes. You'd have a larger file size, but it would transcode quicker. You could get into Final Cut quicker. And as I say, if you're going to delete that file anyway, it doesn't really matter about the size. So that's been this little one today. I hope it's been a good little help overview. And as I say, remember, um, with all these exports, I found the quality was very comparable. I, I think you would struggle to notice any real difference. So it's literally more a case of just how much time do you want to spend on it and how much file size you want for your files. I'll put a little note here at the bottom, or I'll put it, I'll tell you what, I'll put in the notes the time difference and so for each one just so you can compare. Thanks for watching this one, guys, and uh, see you next time.